In this video, we'll go over how to fill out your academic planning form. The first page of the academic planning form is all about what courses you have taken and will take before you go on your UCEAP program. Step 1. Go to Gold and run progress checks. Completing this will show you what graduation requirements you will still need to fulfill when you depart for studying abroad. Page 2 is where you'll list the courses you plan to take on your UCEAP program. The first place that you'll want to go is the overview page for your program on the UCEAP website and then to the Academics tab. Non-immersion programs with a special focus like language or an area studies offer a select number of courses. For immersion programs, you should also go to the Academics tab on the Program Overview page. We'll use Yonsei University in Korea as an example. Scroll down to the Courses and Credit section where you will find details about the number and types of courses you are expected to take. Scroll down further and you will find links to the host university website. This is the best source of information for what classes are currently offered at that host university. If your term abroad is not yet available, look at what was offered for your intended term abroad in the current year. Another source of information for courses is the UCEAP course catalog. If you click on the link to the UCEAP course catalog, you will find courses that have been taken by UC students on your program in the past. Clicking on the transcript title, you will be able to view the course description. Remember, these courses may not be offered when you are abroad. The Campus Credit Abroad is a particularly helpful tool to see how courses have been applied in previous years at your home UC campus. This database should be accessible directly below the UCEAP course catalog on your program overview page. Go to the UC Santa Barbara Credit Abroad or Gaucho Credit Abroad to find classes that fellow Gauchos have taken for credit in your major. For example, we could search environmental studies for major credit anywhere. You'll find over 700 courses. These results can then be sorted by any of the top tabs, such as UCSB Requirement Met. You can also access the UCEAP course catalog and Campus Credit Abroad under Student Resources on the Home menu. We also recommend that you go to your Major Advising page on the UCSB EAP Academics page. Here you will find specific study abroad advice from your department. You may also find pre-approved course equivalencies for requirements in your major. Here is an example for Psychology and Brain Sciences. Use these resources to fill the courses you would like to take on your UCEAP program on page 2 of your academic planning form. After you have done your research and filled out the academic planning form, meet with your academic advisors and get the advice and signatures that you need. Remember, the academic planning form may be submitted after you submit your application, but no later than the date listed at the top of the form. Also, this academic planning form is exactly that, a plan, not an enrollment. We realize that you may change your mind or that some of these courses will be unavailable when you go on your program. In the next video, we will go into more detail about using the UCEAP course catalog.